Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So I already have my makeup done today. I've just filmed it all and you're gonna see it um, happen as we go through this video. But what I wanted to do for you today is actually a comment I got yesterday, <laughs> um, but this is now a week later. Someone asked to see like my top 10 of things and I was like, you know what, top 10, I my opinion changes on a lot of stuff quite frequently because I try a lot of stuff quite frequent frequently. So what I've done is I've chosen five products in each category that I can be like, this is my top five, but this is my top one from those top five. <laughs> I will, of course will have a link below from you to shop my shelf, um, which is a link you can go to. It's an affiliate link, some affiliate links, some aren't, more than likely they are. Not that I'm affiliated with every brand, it's like magic links if you don't know what that is you're gonna have to Google it because I don't have time to explain. <laughs> but you click on that and you can click on the video and it will have every single product featured in this video for you. Hey, so if this is your first time here, hi, my name's Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life and it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please do consider subscribing. And talking about incredible products, I wanna say a huge thank you to Elf for sponsoring today's video and their Big Mood Mascara. This mascara is incredible. I don't keep around many mascaras. I don't like a lot of brushes on mascaras because at the end of the day, mascaras and their um, efficiency and the way they work all come down to the wand and the way the brushes on the end. So this mascara has an incredible hold on your lashes as well and it plumps and lifts your lashes. One thing you'll notice as well about this mascara is when you apply it, it is incredibly smooth on the lash. It glides over, glides upwards, and it's a simple, easy, effortless application in just one stroke. You don't have to go crazy building it up. The brush itself is more like that hourglass kind of shape. And this is a really great shape for mascaras because it not only separates lashes, but you get a lot of definition in your lashes as well. Now I have terrible, terrible lashes in general. So for them to be able to kind of separate like this and um, have some kind of definition is incredible. I burnt my lashes a long time ago and they kind of just stick, to, they kind of, are, they're just awful. But I found this actually did lift my lashes. A lot of mascaras, for me, they kind of just all fall to a side because that's how they sit naturally. They just, this sits this way, this sits this way. Whereas like I said, this really gave it a lift. It's really easy to get right to the bottom of a roux and zigzag through, roll and zigzag and lift up those lashes. Now it has that incredible texture. I never know how to say this because it has Jojoba or Yehoba. I think it's Yehoba wax in it, which helps to lock in the curl on your lash. The formula is also smudge and flake resistant. No flakes. The most irritating thing about mascara is flaky mascara. I will go ahead and link the mascara below for you so you can go ahead and check it out yourself. If you need your lashes to get that boost and that push of volume and length, then I would definitely recommend this mascara. And thank you again to Elf for sponsoring this video. Okay, where should we start? Let's start how I would usually do my eye makeup. So primer, no brows, primer, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go in order from five to one, one being the one I really, really love and then five being the one I like, um, but still recommend. What was I doing? Eyebrows. And for brows, I've kind of done a mix of all the brow products. So it's not, it's a bit of a dodgy one, but yeah. <laughs> so number five for eyebrows is the Sample Beauty Brow Gel. I really, really like this. There was one point where I was like obsessed with it. I was using it every single day, but it kind of came out when um, brands started to kind of release their own kind of different brow products at the same time. And there's a brow product that just beat Sample Beauty, which is gonna be my number one. So this has a really great staying power in the brow. If you have thick, heavy brows, no brow product ever holds them in place, no matter what you do, this is the one to go for. The cons with this one, you have to work quite quickly because it dries so quickly. Um, taking it off can be a bit of a battle, but as long as you're double cleansing using um, an oil or a balm to melt that product, then you should be absolutely fine. Don't pick it because I believe it might rip out your eyebrows. But if you have absolutely, if nothing ever works for you, this is a great one to go for. So number one is the Beauty Bay's Brushed Up Brows Brow Soap. Now this is really incredible. You can see I've made quite a dent in it. Oh, there's some of my old hairs in there. I've made quite a dent in this one because I really adore, adore this one. So I don't, I use this wet and dry. I find it works really well dry. I find it works really well wet as well. What I really like about this one is again, it holds my brow in place completely. Like I've had this, this was, my brows were the first thing I've done. I've been sitting here for about an hour. 
I've been watching YouTube and doing my makeup and filming some like bits, like TikTok bits in between, and they just hold in place. It grips onto them. It really grips onto them. Why I prefer this to maybe the sample beauty one I showed you before is in terms of application, I get to choose, you can choose your own brow comb, but we do sell the bamboo ones that are extremely affordable. It's just a lot more nicer application. And I wash these. I, for myself, like I will shampoo these and brush clean them and sanitize them and then just use them again. Until, until it's like physically falling apart and splintering in my hand, then um, I'll keep it, you know? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at eye primers. So number five for eye primers for me is the Urban Decay Priming Potions. Not just this one, um, the other ones. My actual favorite is the one in Eden, I believe it is, for me, because it's a little bit drier. My eyelids are extremely oily. This is the original and has more of that silky texture. So if you have dry eyelids, this is a great one to go for. And the reason I really like it is because there is something in those options for everyone. They, you can buy one for a, a drier lid, you can buy one for a more textured lid, you can get one for an oilier lid. And eyeshadow sits so incredibly on top of them. I actually had this one in my professional, not this one, but this, um, a few of those in my professional kit for a really long time. I like, um, I loved them. I was so in love with them and I still would, I still would put them in my kit, but they've been replaced by my number one. Our number one, Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. These are incredible. So I have the shade, this is Ignite, right? Ignite. Um, and there's matte ones, there's ones of shimmer, there's other, there's deeper tones. They're absolutely amazing. And this is why this one is number one instead of the e.l.f. one, is it has that perfect mixture of being a cream, but also tacky and sticky enough, but not so much that it's gonna interfere with the texture of your lids. So it is a perfect, in my mind, a perfect eye primer. It is the best. The best. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. It blends out easily, so I find I like to use my fingers for it, and sometimes I'll use a brush for it. It depends how I'm feeling that day, but it works just as well in, in both situations. It also has a sharpener underneath, so you can keep it nice and pointed, so you can get right into these inside corners, which I don't really find necessary because it is quite small anyway. But also the colour versions of these, the ones with a little bit of pink to it, or what other shades do I have? Like there's some bronzy tones. Um, work really nice as cream eyeshadow. So if you just want a quick eyeshadow to tap on the lid and go, absolutely perfect. And you know it's not going to crease. So I, I adore, adore, adore that one. Let's go on to eyeshadow. Sigma's eyeshadows are extremely underrated. I absolutely love, love, love Sigma's eyeshadow palettes. Um, and they have, they have many different ones along with their highlighter palettes, blusher palettes, everything like that. And if they have a few different palette options. They are really nicely pigmented. I've been using this one. You can see I've used a shade here and a shade here to top some eyeshadows. I actually have ones that I should have maybe got one that I actually use. Um, but also as well, the great thing about these, I hate usually, I usually hate um, brushes that come in eyeshadow palettes can be a bit you know, a bit shit. Sigma of course are known for their brushes and I adore their brushes and I use them all the time. It's just, an, it's just a Sigma brush in here, so you know it's gonna be as good as the brushes that you use anyway if you use brushes from Sigma. And Sigma actually make like little, little palettes now, and they are beautiful, they are stunning. I love them. The texture is amazing. The reason why they're no higher for me than five is because, um, I would like to see some more vibrancy in the palettes, which I'm sure they're gonna get to, um, at some point. There's a lot of, there's a lot of eyeshadow out there, so, I can see why a brand wouldn't be in a rush to bring out something with a lot more colour. I love a good nude palette. Let's go to my number one choice for eyeshadow formula and texture, and that is Beauty Bay. So Beauty Bay's, are, they were number one in the brows as well, they're doing good. Beauty Bay's own eyeshadow formula, this is the one I use for this look, is incredible so incredibly affordable as well really good price points these shimmers are like cream but stay on sit on the lids so incredibly well the um powder eyeshadows are also so smooth i've never used an eyeshadow um palette from beauty bay and been disappointed i will grab them up this one was gifted to me because i'm on their pr now this is 
they're only, I think their first palette, they, no, their second palette they've gifted to me, but the first one I owned already, because I will buy all their palettes. I think they are amazing. I have their big, the, um, the big palettes, because they're such good value for money. You get all those shades in there, and I think a lot of us are in a position where we're very fortunate, where maybe we can buy one or two releases a, a month, um, or, you know, every few months, where some people may just be looking for that one palette that is gonna carry them through. If you are looking for one palette that you can use for everything, natural eyes, um, color, go to Beauty Bay's 30, is it the 32? I'll put it up on the screen. Go to their eyeshadow palettes, amazing. You will not be disappointed and you get really amazing, high quality um, looks from it as well. I have used luxury brands, for example, if you've seen my Dior video, um, Natasha Denona, which I've been extremely disappointed by. I prefer Beauty Bay over that. Actually, I prefer everything I've used here over them. But um, the Beauty Bay formulas are impeccable. So do try those out. You're missing out if you haven't tried those already. Okay, blush. So there's a mix of cream and... Oh, I think they're mostly cream. What are you gonna do? So in fifth place is the Illamasqua Color Veil. It actually has more like a jelly texture than a cream. Um, I really, really, really like this one. The pigmentation is incredible. Um, you get really good, strong color from it. My The only reason why it's not um, higher than five is because um, I feel you have to work with it quite quickly and get it blended into the skin. Other than that, absolutely perfect. Number one is something, again, You, I guess you don't see me using it a lot because I'm either trying a new blush or doing something else. This is the Free CE, not to be confused with Mina, which is spelt at, with a free. Um, <laughs> I used a Free CE product and someone was like, it's pronounced Mina. And I was like, no, that's a different brand who I actually worked for in Australia. So I know who they are. <laughs> um, and this is the blush cushion. This is the shade Peach. I, I, This is why I love these and this is why they're my number one. Just the way they go on the skin, when you put the pad in, let me, oh, I don't wanna waste it. When you put the, the pad in initially and see the color, you're like, no, that's way too much. But once you get it on the skin, it looks like it becomes see-through and it becomes this really incredible tint to the skin, a tint with more color, with incredible color payoff. And um, that looks just natural and incredible. And just like, it just become, I love a product that becomes part of your skin. It looks like your skin. It looks from your, it looks like you're blushing from within and you haven't just whacked it on your face. They are my number one. I, I adore Free CE as a brand anyway, but those blush cushions, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, what's next? Lip, we're almost there. So number five, Juvia's Place Lip Glosses. Stunning, beautiful. I don't wear many lipsticks by the way, so there's one lipstick in this. Uh, that's it. Juvia's Place, I love all their lip products. They're absolutely incredible. This one in particular, Sweet Beats. This shade, it looks, it does that not look edible. Do you, do you not want to drink that purple? So, so nice. I absolutely love that shade. They smell amazing. They sit on the lip really well. They're extremely comfortable on the lip, which is a, a big, big thing for me. And let's go to number one. And these are number one because of texture, formula, smell, just the way they look on the lips. And these are the Luna Beauty Lip Glosses. These are amazing. These are so, so incredible. I have never experienced a texture like this. This is like if a gloss had a relationship with like water and they had a baby and out came this, um, you know, little water gloss baby. <laughs> Incredible, absolutely amazing. So, so, so comfortable on the lips. And there's something about the smell. I personally mix these two. This one is Starlight, uh, just for that kind of base color. And then I use Celine, which is like a, a shimmery, like glitter one. I wouldn't say it's glittery, it's more like a shine, I guess. And they just look stunning together. There's something about the smell. It smells almost like a caramel, but they're so comfortable. I can't feel it on my lip right now. And I just put two layers on. And But when I do this, it's so different. I think if you've worn it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a water. If water could be stable and sit on your lip, not like ice, you know, I know ice is a thing, but if water, and not like gel, but if water could be like, I'm I'm still water and I'm so, and I'm, I don't know. It's so hard to describe, but it's one of the most unique textures I've tried and it's so comfortable on the lip, but I just adore it. I just think that they are absolutely stunning. I buy, I think I have all of them, I think. I don't know. Okay. 
I can do another one of these. If you want primers, lashes, things like that, I can do that as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, things will be linked below if you're not tired of hearing about <laughs> by now. And thanks again to Elf for sponsoring this video. Like I said, that amazing mascara is linked below for you. Thanks again, everyone. I will see you very soon. Bye.